You could put her into the cage for now and find something to give her some water. Well, yeah, I need to. Oh. It's okay. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you're so hairy. You don't need to freak out. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Your back legs are so huge. I don't know where they end. So, uh, hi. <laughs> wow, yeah. So this happened. I'm gonna let you on the ground. Okay? Look, you, you can move. <laughs> okay, she's terrified. I'm gonna let her calm down for a minute. There you go. Oh, yes. Oh yes, there she goes. Okay, so... I got a rabbit today. I did not expect to get a rabbit today. What are you looking at? She's hiding. She's very shy. She's three months old and she has had like zero interaction with humans. So she doesn't really know what to do right now. She's a lion head. You look like you're so small you're gonna slip right through the gaps. <laughs> Is this too, too big for you? It's okay. I have some water over here if you want some. She is so scared out of her mind. You can you can like hop around. I did not think this was gonna happen today. <laughs> Cause I was literally. I have sunglasses on right now, so you can't tell. But I was like sobbing my eyes out earlier because my mom suggested that I get another rabbit, and then I was like looking out of the cage, and it's like it hasn't been that long. But it's just, I've always had more than one rabbit at a time, so there's never been this, like, stasis of, like, no rabbit. <laughs> and it just happened. It just happened. Don't be mad at me, I wasn't supposed to do this. <laughs> so much hair on me already. Are you chewing a dead leaf? You have all this fresh green grass around you and you want to chew on a dead leaf? Huh? Oh my goodness. You are an actual little lion, huh? Or an actual little lion. Oh wow, look at that stretch. Oh my goodness. Oh, 2%. Oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> I wanted to add a little bit to this video because I feel like there's some things that I need to clarify. And first of all, that is don't impulse buy like pets. Do as I say, not as I do. Because this wasn't like a complete impulse buy. And I'm gonna try to explain that for a quick minute. Uh, so I hope you don't mind being here with me in my bed because I just like don't feel like sitting up. Is this cool? I feel like everyone else when they try to film a video, they're like, here, let me film from a flattering angle. And I'm just like, I'm tired. Y'all wanna chat? It was a long series of events that led to me getting another rabbit. It wasn't just like, whoops, here she is, even though that's kind of, you know, what it seems like, because that's what I felt. From the beginning, I have never been in like, it's there's never been a time in my life in like 12 plus years where I like haven't had a rabbit. A couple months ago, rabbit that I had passed away and it was very intense. I'm still kind of processing that and I feel like adding this new rabbit to the mix has really kind of just like thrown me into a pit of despair even though that doesn't make any heckin sense because it's I don't really like the idea of like replacing a pet I prefer to sort of see it as like trying to just like freaking move on I've had a lot of rabbits in my lifetime and they've all been very different and very special and very unique and so I don't like to think of it as like replacement because it's not replacement. It's more of just sort of continuing on, finding another spiritual energy to bond with. I know I sound like a total crazy person. I don't connect as well to other animals, but for some reason, like I really, really connect to rabbits. And I know that like, you know, people very commonly are like, you know, dogs are uh, dogs and cats and whoa, but like, I'm just very bonded with rabbits in particular. To me, they're kind of like the perfect combination of both because like they're very chill. They're chill like cats, but also like they're very playful and like loyal like a dog. 
and I also tend to have a hard, harder time bonding with um, predatory animals as opposed to prey animals because I feel like um, even though like I love dogs, dogs are good, doggos are good, hecking good boys, I definitely have a harder time bonding with animals that like are like hunters and like are aggressive or you know something like that whereas like their play is like hunter play I find that harder to sort of connect to I guess and I don't really know how to explain it that well but that's sort of the best way that I can think of to say it but I still love dogs I still heckin love dogs there's good boys good girls out there but I just feel like I tend to bond better with rabbits and I know not a lot of people agree with me a lot of people think that rabbits are just like oh kids pet oh shit oh but like they're very sweet nice gentle spirits okay they're very nice very nice to have and hold in your arms they will love you they're not as easy as you think they are to care for but like they're they're good I think the payoff is worth it uh, my phone keeps telling me that I'm gonna die. Why? Nah, I'm gonna die. I mean, we all are someday, but you know, that's not what's happening right now. Uh, I'm at 6% always, constantly. Just constantly. Because I'm addicted to my phone. I just wanted to clarify that this was, this was not like an impulse buy. This was not like me going to a pet store and being like, Oh shit, let's do that shit. This was like, we, we have this farm. And he sells meat rabbits. And I know I mentioned this earlier, but basically uh, she was part of a breeding pair and uh, he didn't really want her because he could basically do everything that he needed to do with just the male. Um, but so he was either going to like, just continue using them as a breeding pair. And what that means is just, you know, you forcefully breed them to make tiny, make more babbits make more babbits and uh they were very they were not in a great place and there was a whole there was a whole thing happening where basically okay i'm gonna tell you about this i wasn't gonna tell you about this right now but i'm just gonna do it because you know what we're having a one-to-one -one conversation it's all right but uh i ended up having to get rid of my two frogos, uh, Marshmallow, very sweet, very cute little frogos, and the whole situation with that was, um, I couldn't really, duh. the live food was like too much for me, <laughs> in short terms, um, cause as I just went in the whole spiel about fucking predatory animals, I love frogos, they're freaking cute as heck, they have their little sticky hands, I love it so much. But it was very hard for me to maintain the crickets. Also, my mama hated them so much. And it's just, it's hard to have uh, a pet that, like, everyone around you greatly dislikes. But, <laughs> but also, I just, they ended up going to a nature center. And the thing is, the plan was, I knew I wasn't going to keep them forever because I'm moving out next year. So I was planning on keeping them until then so that I could still like have a pet up until I moved out because I do I liked having their company. I mean, it wasn't like an immediate thing. I was like, oh, I might try to find them a better home, you know, but like for now I'll keep them. But then my mom is the most impulsive person on the planet. Thanks mom for those genes. Uh, so she was like, she like called around the second that I mentioned this and was like, okay, the nature center will take them. And I was like, well, I'm upset. I want to think about this for a minute. Like, maybe I don't want to get rid of them. I mean, like, they're my friends. They're too, they're too good, a good boy and a good girl. Um, so, the, but it was this whole thing and basically, um, she made a good point, whereas I probably wouldn't have been able, been able to find them a better home in the time frame that I was hoping. So like, I didn't want to have to give them away so soon, but like, it ended up just like happening as it as it happened. And because uh, I couldn't really take them with me when I moved, is the thing. Because I knew that I did want to get a rabbit eventually, and it wouldn't have been smart of me to like get a rabbit with 
already like already having the frogs there because I just like wouldn't have enough space because I barely have enough space as it is and it's just like it wouldn't have worked out so but so then he was like uh let's stop by the farm let's you know maybe they'll have some meat rabbits and I feel I feel so bad that's like just walking in there I feel so bad because they're so, they're so sweet. We've gotten multiple um, meat rabbits from him that he basically, the Flemish giants, a lot of them are Flemish giants and he sells them like for poultry. And we've gotten a lot of rabbits from him um, that were meant to be poultry rabbits. And we're just like, hey, can we like buy those and just like, have you not kill them? And he's like, yeah, sure. You're gonna buy them, sure. So we just, you know, we take them and they're very sweet. They don't live as long as like normal, um, they don't live as long as regular Flemish giants just because they're like a lot of them they're not purebred they're like bred specifically to be eaten so they're bred to get big quick and then die <laughs> so like they're really not very healthy but they're so sweet they're so sweet they're just like tiny doggos I mean they're pretty big they're they're like they're a good sized bun good freaking size so, you know, that I mean, it's always so sad going in there, but I was just like, I can't leave her here. I can't leave her here. So we ended up just like taking her essentially because he was either gonna just like breed her a ton or like eat her. And I was like, I don't want you to eat her. She's so good. <laughs> She's so cute. She hates me right now because she's scared to all heck of everything and everyone because she really hasn't had a lot of human interaction. She's, I mean, you know, Fama just like, you know, picks her up bloop, and she's like, don't stop, please. <laughs> so, I mean, she's really not, she's very skittish right now. But so, uh, th that happened. That happened today. And it has been a lot emotionally because it hasn't been that long since uh, my last rabbit passed away. So I'm still kind of in this state where I'm like still kind of processing it. And I also like, now that I have a rabbit again, again I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go see the rabbit. And then I'm like, but that's not, that's not the rabbit that I remember. You know, it's, <laughs> and it's gonna take me a while to get used to like, oh, I have a rabbit, but this is not Daisy. This is not the rabbit that, you know, I have bonded with so much for all these years and the thing is we got rid of a lot of her stuff because she died from an infection I'm still like recovering from that because that was it was just a lot emotionally it was very intense and like I had planned to move out with her with her next year and you know suddenly that's you know not not a reality and so now I have this new rabbit, this new babbit, who's very cute, and I am going to try to not call her babbit because that is, uh, even, her name is Daisy, but I almost like solely called her babbit. And so I, even though it's just like, you know, a nickname for rabbit, I don't feel as comfortable using that term with her. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out something else to say because it's distressing so that is the whole deal with that I've had rabbits all my life this wasn't like I'm buying I'm buying a pet from a pet store that I've never had before on impulse don't do that this was like a lot of series of events that <laughs> led up to this particular event and I just wanted to clarify that and this is good this is gonna be most of the video now y'all just wanted to see a rabbit instead you get my gross ass mug in bed just not having it being emotional one quick thing, another quick thing, quick thing, and then I'm gonna sign off, I'm gonna let you go. But uh, I have been trying to do like some daily vloggy type things, type videos, and I haven't really been posting them because I feel like they're too boring. And I don't really know what y'all guys like. I know some of y'all are subscribed just for robot stuff, some of you are just subscribed for Furby, some of you are just subscribed for vlogs. So I don't know, let me know if you guys want to see like daily style vlogs they would be more of like an extra video as opposed to like a main saturday video 
but I, I just don't know because I'm feeling the boring because I, I film one of just like me going to Target and just like getting juice and the whole thing is just like this weird shit post about juice and it's like really short and it's just me going to Target and there's juice but like if you want to see it let me know otherwise it's like edited it's just gonna like be in the archives <laughs> so let me know about that and maybe I'll just like throw that at you just like a little extra a little extra thing I'm gonna sign off now. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye!